am Pastor Olu of the Reality of Grace Ministries International here in London, UK. I'm using this medium to invite you to fellowship with us in an atmosphere filled with love and truth, a place where hope is given to the hopeless and meaningless lives are turned to meaningful lives. The word is being spoken here and being taught here the way it should be taught powerfully. It's delivered in a way that it's easy to understand, easy to digest and easy to use in everyday life. The word here is definitely life changing. Reality or Grace Ministry is a unique church. I love it because it's very welcoming and then of course the word, but for me as well, it's a praise and worship. Are we here? You are one person away from your next level. You have detached from the wicked one. You are going to pray a prayer. Father, that person that will move me to my next level, cause us to meet. And to meet very soon. Pray it before we go. Cause us to meet. Precious Father, one person in a very busy, rousing market. Why did I meet? God is a kind God. No matter how busy the market of life is, you will meet your helper. You will meet your helper. You will meet your helper. Meet your helper. A man was hiding in London, was hiding. Doing maybe security work, hiding. One day, I went to buy something at Warwick Road, and the guy used to be my neighbor. He just heard my voice. There was no light. He said, Olu! Ha. And now I met him. Ha. What are you doing in London? I said, I'm now pastor here. You pastor? And you, ah. I don't, I, I just manage it. I, I will repair all it. And he began to say, So you don't have your papers here? I said, But I have a lawyer I can take you to. He said, Really? I said, I said, There is a scheme. You are overqualified. You can be here. You can go back home and he said, He said, It's a lie. I said, It's not a lie. I have helped some people. Is that true? I said, let us meet. That was how he got his paper. Yeah. That was how he got his paper. Just, just that, and he would have said, something was just telling me to move. God will help you. Yeah. From hiding, yeah. you will come into limelight. Yeah. As you come, as you go into this week, you will know this week for good. Amen. You will not be counted, and I will not be counted among those who will die this week. Amen. We shall outlive the week. Amen. The prison door is closed. Amen. None of us will go into prison. Amen. Then if there be anyone trapped in any prison, come out in Jesus' name. Amen. It is where we do. Just shout three hallelujah to celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm just late to invite you to join us as we worship God together in the beauty of holiness and in the power of his righteousness. God bless you.
afternoon and God bless you. You are welcome to the Reality of Grace telecast this afternoon. Uh, it's my pleasure to say with me here is uh, Pastor Stanley Duro. We were here last week and uh, we shared the word together. We are continuing this week with the force of prayer. I believe that um, as we explore the word together, it is going to be a very great blessing today. I'm persuaded in my spirit. Get your writing pads and ball pens because you may have one or two things to put down. Especially in this uh, crucial moment in this country, crucial moment in the world. And, you know, if we know the, the spirit of evil that is happening now, you will agree with me thankfully that we need God more than ever before, you know, to be able to sail through these difficult times that we are in. And that's why we are, you know, uh, going to share about the force of prayer, the force of prayer. Because the Bible says, watch and pray that you may not fall into temptation. Temptation is not just you going to see, being tempted to sin, being tempted to do one evil or the other. Temptation is, you know, you can be tempted by arm robbers coming to clear everything. It's a temptation because at the end of the day, if a thief clears everything, you are being tempted. Because that temptation can result into whether you still believe God loves you or he doesn't love you. God cares or he doesn't care anymore. Yes, that's why I said, <coughs> watch and pray that you may not fall into temptation. There are people that it was at the aftermath of one evil or the other that happened to them unprecedentedly, that made them to quit serving God. It was a temptation they could not handle. That's, please, let's get ready because the, the times and the seasons that we are in now, you know, demands that we are on our knees so that we can be on our feet before men, so that we can be on our feet before situations and circumstances. I, I'm saying it again that with the, Pastor Stanley is here with me and we're going to be exploring that before we go, I will just offer a short prayer. Father Lord, we just want to thank you and praise you and yeah. worship you and adore you and glorify you. Yes. Uh, for this awesome opportunity that you yes. have given to us. We do not take it for granted. Yes, Lord. No, we do not take it for yes, granted. Yes, Lord. We see it as an act of your mercy. Yes, Lord. To count us worthy. Yes, Lord. To be relevant to our world today. Yes. We ask as we explore the world together that, Father, there will be illumination. Amen. And yes. this illumination will bring transformation Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I ask that both we, the speakers, Amen. and the hearers yes, Lord. shall be maximally blessed. Amen. And the glory shall be maximally Amen. blessed. Yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Because Lord. every contrary spirit has been arrested. Amen. Jesus is exalted. And yes, Lord. Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 First time you welcome to the program. Maybe you may have to say one or two things to the viewers. Thank you. Yeah, yes, because... Thank you, man of God. I uh, want to welcome you all, the viewers from across the nations of the world. And um, I want to welcome my other sister is watching from Washington, USA. I know, I know she at work. And happy birthday. Today is your day. And uh, by the grace of God, I believe that uh, God will speak to us today because the issue of prayer is a very, very important subject in our Christian work. And a lot of people today are suffering because they have ignored that, that subject. Mm. Because uh, we never forget some of the things you have said about prayer. You know, uh, reading, um, when you, you, you spoke a message some years ago about uh, prayer from Luke 18 verse 1. Mm. Where Jesus said that men, are men he, said, he told them a story to this end. That men always ought to pray and not the thing. And you said that a God that is commanding you to pray always will we'll be ready is, to is answer. Ready to answer always. always. A powerful statement about prayer because he said, I will never forget that statement. The God that asks you to pray always mm -hmm. is ready mm -hmm. to ask you, to, is ready to answer always. But yeah, because the, if God is not ready to answer always, how can he, he, he told us that we should redeem the time because the days are evil. Even, yeah. yes, so that God, we want you to waste your time no. blabbing and no. uh, 
and he shut his ear listening to praise in heaven and just having a, a swell time with himself and forgetting that you are here or not. No, it's not, it's not going to happen like that. Yeah. God who says we should uh, pray always is ready to answer always. Yeah. Yeah. God who says we should pray always is ready to answer always. Amen. Yeah. It was it was a very powerful statement and you know you have you know one of the things like you know the bro tony minister tony that normally anchor the prayer we say that you're a prayer smith and um, <laughs> thank god people have come to know that you have that grace you know like we have always said that you know from book of samuel what samuel said he said prayerlessness is a sin mm. he said god forbid i will sin against god by not praying for you when mm. he told the church of mm -hmm, israel mm -hmm. So, and uh, God has given you that grace. And then oftentimes when people come to London, when they come to our church and, you know, when they experience the prayer, they said that we thought that, oh, you know, people have this idea that, you know, people in Western world are not prayerful. <laughs> and some people even think that we are not spiritual. <laughs> I, I will not forget the, the encounter I had with one bishop in about 2006, to be precisely. I was in when I went to that church. He didn't. He didn't even introduce me because somebody brought me to his church. So he saw me looking good. He said, "Maybe are you sure this man is sanctified or not sanctified?" And um, I was quiet. And when the meeting started after the introduction, few minutes into my message, the power of God fell. The bishop stood up, and after the meeting. Somebody said, please find that when Pastor Stanley is coming to Nigeria again, I'm going to foot the bill of, you know, the hand bill, the advert, the advert of the program that, you know, we want him. And then after the meeting, I could see the respect. <laughs> when he was giving me the honor, and he said, you know, please, anytime you are coming to Nigeria, please, I should include them in my itinerary. So I thank God that when people come, they will see that they see people in Western world we are not prayerlessness and God has grace. For instance, today uh, I said last week that you see one of the things you you endeavor to do is to teach people, not just to teach on prayer, but to lead people to pray. Because there are a lot of people today talk a lot about prayer. Some pastors are prayerlessness. When he did the uh, something some yeah, time ago, okay. and he's discussed some pastors don't don't pray up to thirty minutes a day. Yeah, we just thank God for grace. We just thank God because uh, I, I believe it's not, um, I, I, I know that it's not by power, yeah. by mind. And you know the funniest thing, I, this God can be, you know, the Bible says that he who sits in the heavens shall, shall laugh. My greatest weakness was prayer. Yes, you said, oh, I, I, I will never forget what you said. When you, were, and you don't like even people praying around you. <laughs> you cannot concentrate, you can't be focused when other people are praying. When you raise your voice and itch, you are my enemy. Because I would just say, can't we talk to God privately? Yeah. Even in church, I'm not even talking about uh, in the home front, even in church. I, 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 I will say that, you know, I could remember one day I went to church um, and they said we should pray. And there was a particular guy that was you there. Shared his story before. And he was just, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus. And I could say, can't you just keep quiet for goodness sake? Let me pray. You are disturbing me. I couldn't concentrate. I would drop my head to pray. Oh, God of heaven and the earth. I looked at him, you know, with the corner of my eye, uh, you know, not happy with him. Yes. I, I was not happy with him. That's come. You cannot take over everywhere. And I could not move my seat to where I did. It didn't occur to me now that maybe I should have changed positions. I, 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 I you know, changed my position. I mean, I, but. Uh, I continue. After a while, you know, the Bible says that when a man's way please, please he calls his enemy. Yes, he cause his enemies to be at peace he's with him. Team. I started saying amen to his prayer. I remember the story. Yeah, because I started yeah, saying, yeah. He, when he says in the name of Jesus, I was saying amen, amen. So whatever he was asking God for, because yeah. I couldn't pray. So it is not, if you are there and maybe you. Uh, you the pastor Stanley is saying, oh, he knows how to pray. It's not by power, yeah, it's not by no. mind. It's just God's grace, grace at work. Yeah. And I acknowledge that, you understand? I acknowledge that it's not something that is mechanical. It is something yeah. that you, uh, I would like to say, you incline or just submit yourself to God to help you. Every time you don't feel like praying, why not just ask the Holy Spirit that, Holy Spirit, please, please kindly energize me. Yeah. Kindly energize me. Give me power to pray right now. And when you ask, give me power to pray, don't sleep. Yeah. You understand? You have to put faith to work. You understand? Against your will, against your 
fatigue, maybe a bodily fatigue, you stand and mentally stressed, mentally drained, and you don't just feel like praying. We have moments like that, so don't think that uh, uh, we are supermen no. or whatever. What makes us supermen today is the super in us, which is the, uh, who is the Holy Spirit. Spirit. The Holy Spirit is what makes all the difference. We are but dust outside of outside of the spirit of yeah. God. Yes, the Holy Spirit is what who makes the difference, the whole difference in us. So in case you don't feel like praying and uh, you just wake up one day feeling tired, feeling fatigued, and hating prayer. Yes, sir. so just ask the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit, I don't want to pray today. I don't feel like praying. Now, can you tell the Holy Spirit like that? Yes. yes. Yeah. He's your God. Yeah. He's the, your son. He's, he's our Heavenly Father. You don't get what I'm saying? Heavenly Father, you're, you're not Heavenly God. Mm -hmm. You're still Heavenly Father. Because the, the fatherhood of God shows that there is a relationship. Yeah. You've got to understand that it, it, when, when you call God Father, you're just trying to say that I have a relationship with this person. He gave back to me. You're still, before you can call somebody Father, that is it's more than a title. It's a heavy one. It's, it's relationship based. Yeah. Father, I don't feel like praying. Help me, Lord Jesus. Energize me and help me. Holy Spirit, help me to pray. And take a step of faith. Yeah. Understand? In that very weak and frilled uh, moment, moment uh, just, just stand up and just say, Father, Lord, I just want to thank you. Continue because you are revving up. Before you know it, Honestly speaking, you may, you may spend one, two, three hours in prayer and it will just dazzle you. Yeah. Then you will come to give all the glory, all the praise Amen. and all the adulation and adoration to God, Amen. knowing that you are not the, you know, you are not the architect of it. God, Amen. God is, you know, God just, God just came down for you. So this is what, one of the things I wanted to know. Just depend solely on the Holy Spirit and because there are there are times when you check the number of hours you spent on your knees, you just know that no, 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 no. This is not this is not natural. This yeah. is God. You understand? This is God. This this is God. And you give him all the glory. And of course, when God leads you to pray, listen, when God leads you to pray and God influences your prayer, he shows that you, you are guaranteed that that you are guaranteed of an answer. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever God initiates, you should be able to finish. Oh, yes. And when God finishes, you will see the effect. He said, ask that your joy may be full. And, then, and you shall receive that your joy may be full. May be full. Yeah. So in case maybe your prayer life is suffering, don't condemn yourself. No, don't, don't condemn yourself. Maybe you've not been asking for your strength now. Oh, the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit is your guide. Yeah. It's your teacher. It's your standby. It's your strength now. Yeah. You understand? So it's your instructor. You, you, start, you are having the creator of the universe on your inside. It's not far from you. Yeah. You start, I think you are looking too far. God lives on your inside. Yeah. The Bible says in First Corinthians, uh, uh, First John 4, for greater, the greater one lives on your inside. Amen. The Holy Spirit lives on your inside. Listen to him on your inside. Like I said yesterday in our service, I said don't let, let this is a sarcastic statement, don't give the Holy Spirit depression yeah. by not talking to him. to him. He can never be depressed, but it's just a sarcastic yeah. statement. So that you understand, how can you have, you know, uh, the person of the Holy Spirit on your inside? You, you talk to your children, you talk to your friends, you talk to your colleagues at work, you talk to your neighbors, you even talk to acquaintances that you, yeah. meet, you meet on the way, but you never speak to the Holy Spirit. Yes. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Good afternoon, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, where do I go? Where do yeah. I? Yesterday, yesterday, I wanted to start coming to church, and then I, I didn't know where I put uh, my wallet. Okay. You know, my wallet. I was just looking for it, and I didn't want to be late. If you saw, and I just said, Holy, Holy Spirit of the Living God, kindly help me. Help me. Let me know where this thing is. I don't want to be late. <laughs> if you saw where I, if you saw where I saw this thing, you will have just known. Can only be him. Yes. And uh, after praying that prayer, I just saw an item and I said, Come, this item should be here. Let me clear it off. Like, no, 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 it's not proper. As I raised it up, I saw, yeah, I, saw is, yeah. I saw, I said, Jesus Christ, God. And I now have, have answered you. Yeah. How on earth would I have known? No way. Known where it is. 
Let's depend on the Holy Spirit. His rim is more than the wind. Oh, yes. It's more than the wine. Remember your song. Yes, more than the wind, more than the wine. Holy it's Spirit. a person. Man. It's a person. Like you and I. He has feelings. He has ears to hear. He has voice to speak yeah. to you. He has hands to touch you. You see, the Holy Spirit is not formless. No. Because God said, let us make man in our own image. image. And we have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So if he says, let's make God a man in our own image, then the Holy Spirit has an image. He has a form. Yeah. It's a person. Yeah. Please, get him ready. Amen. Man, you know, man of God, remember that your son. Okay. You know, you know, we have some wonderful gospel musicians. And maybe if we sing it now, they may go and sing it and publish it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe we'll suspend you know, that. Yeah. You know, because, you know, you turn to book of uh, First Samuel chapter First 12. Samuel chapter so 12, verse 23. We can read it. You so say, you say, you say what, uh, because Pastor Lee made a statement. He said, prayerlessness is sin. Honestly speaking, prayerlessness is sin. Let's see. He said, moreover, as for me, God forbid that I should sin against the Lord. In season, in season to pray for you, but I will teach you the good and the right way. He said, I mean, and this is speaking to ministers. If you are there watching me, as a minister of the yeah. gospel, listen, yeah. listen. <laughs> yeah. If you are a house fellowship uh, pastor, you are a minister. Yeah. So, yes, Sam, because I know some of you are watching. Well, yeah. You are a minister. Yeah. And you have to. Listen, maybe what I want to say now will change your life forever. We have our Royal Majesty, the Queen of England. We have our Royal Majesty, the Queen of England. Yeah? yeah. The Queen of England, you know, every every one of us are under, yes, sir, the Queen, our Royal Majesty, the Queen of England. Get, yeah. get, let, let your heart be open to what I want to bring out. Every one of us, you know, are under her government. Yeah. And when she says a thing, we are to comply, yeah. you know, without any, you know, resistance. We are to joyfully comply. Listen to you, because you are going to learn, all you ministers watching me, especially ministers of the reality of grace, uh, watching me. Now, the, 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 if you are a house fellowship leader, you are like a council worker. Now tell me, whatever is happening in Lucian, whatever is happening in Sodok, whatever is happening in whatever in all the Greenwich, yeah. Greenwich in all the Kisitim. boroughs of London, now, yeah. it is not Her Royal Majesty, the Queen of England, that will be there physically to arrest the situation. No, no. You understand? Even though the situation is happening under her government. Now, who are those that take care? It is those in charge of Church, those. Yeah of the boroughs, it knows that take charge. You understand? If, if you are the mayor of Greenwich or the mayor of whatever, of any, yeah, or, yes, you, start, or yeah, Southern, yeah. you know, uh, Betna Green, whatever yeah. it is, you know, you are the one that will take charge under her government. The only thing is that you will be supported from the central government, yeah. but yeah. you have to take charge. charge. If, if you are listening to me. Now, if you are a house fellowship, Minister, whatever is happening in your house fellowship and the environ, you understand, you have to take charge. If there is, like yesterday, we, we, we stood up and we began to pray and curse the gun culture, yeah. the knife culture in south, south east, east of London. London. Yeah. We, it was not as if maybe the Royal, Her Royal Majesty, the Queen of England, called us and said, okay, I want you to start praying. We knew it as our responsibility, the as light. the light of the world, world as the salt, salt of the earth. We are to salt the earth, give the world a good taste, Test. and we are to be the light of the world, to show the world how to go. Mm. That's why we are, we are the salt. And, then, and I said it yesterday, don't say, oh, we are so small. No, salt is not, yeah. salt is, is so, you know, when you check the percentage of uh, salt in the soup, yeah. it's so tiny. Yeah. Salt is white, purity. Salt is small, effective. You understand my point? Yeah. So if you are there, begin to take charge. You understand? Don't wait for the pastor to come and grow your house fellowship. No, 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 no. Don't wait. You have to take charge because you have to. Because there are, the boroughs are richer than the other. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kensington borough. You see, it, it's Chess, not, let me yeah. tell you, it depends. Okay. Kensington. Chelsea borough. Yeah, you understand? Boroughs are richer than. Each other. Sure, yes, sir. Right. What is happening in central London is not what is happening in the suburb. Make your house fellowship rich. 
Yeah. Begin to grow the wealth of your house foundation. Yeah. So that you know what? Naturally, naturally, people gravitate from area of impoverishment to area of prosperity. Yeah. If you are impoverished, that is why you see uh, immigrants, you understand, or migrating. migrating, or migrants, you yes. know, from other regions trying to go to where they believe they can have a better life. How, what are you doing to your center? What are you doing to, listen, what are you doing to your center that we give people, you understand, that confidence that I'm coming to this center because I will have a better life. I'm coming to this center because the prayer life will sustain me, will sustain my yeah. children. I'm coming to this center because I will, you know, I will, uh, uh, I'll be I, prosperous. I will be prosperous. The association will prosper, yeah. uh, prosper me. The prayer life is healthy. Everything is working. I know we are talking about the force of prayer, but we, are, we just have to digress. Now, you know, uh, I, my wife called me yesterday. She told me that she has a testimony. And I said, really? He said, yes. He said, somebody met me. You know, about two weeks ago, I told somebody who got, who, uh, uh, got his, a six-figure job. Yeah. I said, come, come. And he happened to be the one to raise the offering that day. Yeah. I said, prophesy. Yeah, yeah. To release that grace. I said, prophesy. You understand? Prophesy upon those who want to release six jobs. And somebody walked to uh, my wife yesterday and said, you know what, I have a testimony. Praise so God. what is the testimony? He said, I, had, I got the six-figure job. Glory. He said, my new contract, he said, I've, excuse me, I've got a, a new contract now. It's so good. I will not be traveling much. And guess what? He said, what? He said, it's six-figure. Praise God. Praise God. Yes, sir. Yeah. Six-figure. So it's becoming... The six-figure salary now mm -hmm. is becoming our norm. No, it's, yeah. it's becoming something that is the the end thing for it. And if you are in, if you are into business, you understand. Mm -hmm. So your business can be a six and seven figure, even an eight figure uh, profit. Uh, 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 yes, turnover Turn, for you. Yeah. You understand, and your profit will enter into the six figure by the great six, seven, eight, and nine Man. figures. Yeah. You know, if you have a heart. Can I tell you one thing? If you have a heart to use your money to prosper the gospel of yeah. Jesus Christ, if you are watching me, oh, you want to be a millionaire, you know, it's not that you want to be a millionaire to snatch other people's wives. <laughs> you, start, you are not yeah. being a millionaire so that you can start, you can return to drinking oh. uh, wine and whatever, uh, red wine and living a, uh, a righteous one life, life, one term or righteous life. That is not the reason. You understand, you are blessed to be a blessing. Bless. You have your foundation, you have your charity, you support your church, you send people on mission on your own account. Yeah. You understand, people who may want to just take two weeks to go to Cote d'Ivoire, people who mission may want trip. to, mission trip, people mission who may just want to take one or two weeks to go to the Cameroon, you know, to, to do one or two things, you know, you just do that. Praise God. Amen. So that, that is uh, uh, one of the things I want you to do. I want to, I just feel, I just feel led to just uh, 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 release a prayer. If you are watching me there and you want God to touch your finances, you, you, stand, you, want, you want God to touch your finances, I just want to first pray for you before Amen. we continue because Amen. we are here to talk about the power of prayer. Praise. Then there are other areas of prayers we will tell you because the year is rounding up. Oh, I will yes. tell you one or two areas in which you have to be praying. And God of heaven and the earth, we answer that Amen. those prayers. Yes. Cause your joy to be full, Amen. to overflow into the Amen. glory, praise, majesty, and honor Amen. of his name and his name alone. Amen. Stretch your hand. Amen. Just stretch your hand. Yes, you no, know, just stretch your hand to, to the tube. And if you are watching me on the phone, because you are holding the phone, it's a point of contact. Yes. Father, in the name that is above every name, Amen. the mighty and glorious name of our Amen. Lord and our Savior, Jesus Amen. Christ. I pray for all the viewers Amen. right now. Having one difficulty in the area of finance. Yes, Today, by the authority of yes, God, Lord. I shut every drainage. Amen. I shut the drainage. Amen. The drainage meaning every area in which, you know, 
your finances have been wasted. Yes. Wrong investment. Yes. You know, satanic attacks, yes. true sicknesses, diseases, yes. court Lord. cases, yes. uh, false accusation, yes. everything, you know, yes. uh, uh, appliances just blowing up, yes. fire hazard, whatever yes. it is. Maramo, Ufari, Sana, Hash, Rihanna, Ofredis, Katras, Eva, Di Bodo, Yes, Kepa, Riyala, Kasku, Foro, Yisa, Rabodi, Erekos, Karanis, Ongra, Tarina, Rama, Bobo, Yes, Yesus, Ingla, Amen. Let Amen. all the drainage, yes, the, you know, of everything draining your finances yes. close up to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And let everything that is blocking the yes, rain, Lord. the rain, yes, the rain of yes, favor, Lord. financial yes, favor, Lord. the rain of financial yes, mercy, Lord. the rain of financial yes, goodness. Lord. I yes. command Amen. everything blocking Amen. the rain from falling yes. be removed Amen. like a blanket Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And let there be a deluge, Amen. Lord God of heaven, of the rain of financial Amen. blessings in the Amen. name of the Lord Jesus yes, Christ. Lord. No evil shall be for Amen. you. Our viewers, no plague shall come Amen. there. Your dwelling place, Amen. it shall be well with you. Amen. In your going out, it Amen. shall be well with you. In your coming Amen. in, no evil shall be for Amen. you. I say again, no Amen. plague shall come there. Yes. A thousand falls on your side, ten thousand falls by your right hand. You shall yes, see with your Lord. eyes and hear with your ears. Yes. It shall not come Amen. near your dwelling. Amen. There is no enchantment yes, against you. There is no Amen. divination against you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. as your day, so shall Amen. be your strength. And from yes, this day forward, by the authority and the power Amen. of the Holy Spirit yes, of the Lord. living God Amen. Almighty, Amen. by the power of the Holy Amen. Spirit yes, of the living God, yes. by the power of the Holy Spirit Amen. of the living God, Amen. you will never have have a better Amen. last year. It shall be forward Amen. ever, backward never. Amen. I agree with you today yes, by the authority Lord. of God. Amen. Every attack against yes, your siblings, every attack Amen. against your children, every attack against your marriage, every attack against yes, your career, every attack against your health, every attack against we your ministry. Them. I curse in the name Amen. of the Lord. I destroy and Amen. I dismantle to every Amen. satanic gang of against your Amen. life, every satanic Man gang of against your Amen. home, every satanic gang of against your mind, against your health. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I destroy all of yes. them. Amen. In the name of Jesus, and Amen. I declare and declare, yes. let favor, Man. favor cover Amen. you and Amen. glory as Amen. a cloud, cover Amen. you as a cloud. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your going now shall be blessed. Amen. Your coming in shall be blessed Amen. in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Peace is multiplied Amen. unto you. Honor is multiplied Amen. unto you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen and amen. 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 Viewers, please don't joke with that prayer. Believe it. Uh, what? Why you are praying? The Lord spoke this word to me, man of God, that God wanted us to teach what prayer in words and in deed. Wow. So that was what it just that was what the spirit of prayer just okay. Holy Spirit led you to pray for people. And you know, before I make some comment, because there are while we are praying, there are some st testimony the Lord wants you to share. Okay. Because when I tell you you'll be able to connect in. You know, book of Bible says in the book of Zechariah chapter 10, verse 12. He said that the spirit I'll, of God is I'll pour, I'll pour he said this is the spirit of supply, it, pray, so, it, grace and supplication. Yeah. So always you know, oftentimes the other day uh, was it on Thursday. You know, when we started our midnight prayer, I said that I'm only going to pray for one hour, and I'm tired and feeling sleepy. But I always ask the Holy Spirit to help me. But at the end of the day, we end up praying for over two hours. <laughs> so, viewers, please, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of prayer. Just tell him, help, help me. me. Romans 8, 26. He said, Holy Spirit helps our infirmity. That is, we're still going to come back to the But I want to share something the Lord spoke to you, man of God, several years ago about the reality of Grace Mission International. So it's a normal thing. You know, there is something I said that I said that if these things are not happening, I'll be surprised. I said I'm not surprised some things are happening in the reality of Grace Mission International because God is faithful to his word. God spoke to us. He said, reality of Grace Mission International is a wealthy church. Well, it's a church of wealthy people. And he told us in 2005, he said, I've raised, raised godly millionaires. Like one man of God said that God is not giving you money so that you can take people's no. wife or take people's <laughs> husband or oppress people or live a one-term life or maybe go and take one shift, take it tight to you, go and bow to Uri Miller <laughs> or maybe some idols. Hallelujah. Amen. So what I'm saying is, so man of God says, the normal thing, remember, you know, he said something that, you know, the year is coming to an end and we have to pray. 
and God gave us that this year 2018 is our year of all round restoration. And God did, there was one restoration God did for family. Please, I want you to share because it's still part of it. Because you see, we are, we are not among those religions that just believe that you just pray and not expecting something. I told us there is a religion that believe this. This is one of their saying that blessed are those that did not ask God for anything because they shall not be offended. Mm. So they believe that just go and pray. You pray several so if times. You are, if, you are, if, <laughs> if you are blessed because you shall not be offended, that means when God disappoints you, you stand. You should not. You know, that means, <laughs> the, the, the interpretation of that means that, well, blessed are those who uh, did not ask God because they shall not be offended. Show that God will not answer. That is it. So and that is yeah. why they don't believe, like, you know, they don't care whether if God has answered anything. So, because it's very important. So, it's a normal thing. And, you know, if you are, let me say this. If you are looking for a Bible-believing, Bible-doing church, and you are in the city of London, you know, you can pray about Reality of Grace Miss International. I will tell you, it's a church established by God, and that is why Jesus is building us up. So it's a normal thing for people to have because see, God cannot tell us that you know you are, you are a wealthy church that you know is going to raise you know millionaires in British pounds sterling, not in Nigeria currency, not in cities. So it's a normal thing. So no, if yes. you can share that testimony of restoration, man of God. Okay, oh, why, why? okay. You see, there is something uh, I, I have to say. You know, my wife pastors that center, that center, and then all of a sudden I just. I just saw, I just saw that things were not just uh, all right. I didn't know what was what it was, and I told my wife, I said, "Come, you want to enjoy your center. You want to enjoy your center, so that your center, everybody in that center will be happy, happy and bubbly." Yeah. Because at the end of the day, the the the, the 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 family that this thing happened to give the give the house for the uh, the, center. the center. I said, "You want to enjoy everything, so that when you enter that place." The joy, there will still be joy, yeah. there will still be whatever. I did not know why I was asking that. I said, because sh you need to pray. I said, go and lock yourself up. You are the pastor over that place. And pray fervently that God will restore joy to that center. God will restore zeal, zest, enthusiasm. I said, go and pray. You know, I said, pray very well so that you will be able to enjoy that sense. Mm -hmm. Of course, well, you know, my testimony. And I didn't know. Yeah. Exactly a week later. Your start, which was last week, you know, and I just I said it on a, on Sunday. On Sunday, I said you are going to receive phone calls. Phone calls. I said, yeah, you guys, if you are ready to, you are going to receive phone calls, and the phone calls will be wonderful and it will be a blessing. And then, if I may call, when we are doing the, our review, review, your start. That was that means it was on Monday. On Monday, yeah. A, a call began. A call kept coming from this. A center, the owners of this center, the house where the, my wife, you know, pastors, and then they kept calling. Later, my wife called them that, oh, sorry, we're in the, in the uh, house fellowship review, review meeting, leadership review meeting. Okay, he said, we don't know what to say. <laughs> Glory. Just time. There is a land tossing that yep. have cost them, just time, within one or two months or so. Ten thousand, no twenty thousand, over twenty thousand, over twenty thousand. Because they said they took a loan. So what about what we have been Send just them. just over twenty thousand pounds for court fee or whatever? They just came and told them that they, they have won the case yeah. and that the land was going to be restored. And before this case, before this time, they had six thousand birds. They run a poultry that yeah. has six thousand birds. They have 6,000 birds on, the, on that portrait, you stand, and they said, okay, for the sake of our, our farm money, uh, yeah. take money, they said, no, you have to go. But now they didn't need to buy the land that they owned. Yeah. They caught as rude and have given them back their Glory. Land. That is what. Number now, one. The same day. The second day was that they got a call. The second testimony, the, the same, same day. The same day, the same day, sorry. The second call. For the same family was that, well, you know what? Uh, your son, let your son, lawyer. yes, let your son go now and do uh, this ceremony. His naturalization. Naturalization. We are giving him your son. Yeah, uh, uh, his British passport. And the, 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 the lawyer said something. No, I'm still coming. The third 
Thirdly, is that the whole family has been granted the indefinite stay. Yeah. Now, uh, they leave to remain. Few months ago, yes, time, they told them to go. To go. Because they shared the testimony that, Pastor, you said I should be cheerful. How can I be cheerful? Because I knew what I was passing. Yeah. Everything happened in a day. Yeah. They received the, this, these three major testimonies yeah. happened in a, in a day. day. From phone calls. You understand? Yeah. Now, later, oh, we are rejoicing. Then I should suddenly remember that a week before you told your wife. Yeah. That do you want that house? Do you want them to reject? They are not even aware of this testimony. They are not even aware of, of the this, instruction. The force of prayer. Yes. The, the force, force of prayer. I told my wife, yeah. go and lock up yourself. And, and pray. I said, heavenly. I said, go and lock up yourself. Pray in the spirit. spirit. You are the pastor. They are not going to. He said, I'm not going to join you. Oh, I said, go and pray. Take charge. So if you are watching me there Amen. as a home fellowship leader, or whatever, create testimonies in your center. Amen. Your stand. Because let me tell you, whatever Greenwich is generating, Sadok is generating, uh, East Linton or whatever, yeah, is generating, all the boroughs, all the boroughs Bedna Green and the rest are generating. Yeah. Your stand. The integral of it is what makes London tick. Yeah. It's what makes London rich. Your stand. What we make us rich and tick as a ministry is what individual centers are doing. Your stand. You, as your center, you can buy your bus, you can buy whatever you want to buy. You understand? You buy can, their property. Well, well, good luck. Yeah, buy <laughs> you their can, property. You understand? So the integral makes the central body yeah. thick and worthy, you understand, of attraction. Amen and amen. amen. Glory to God. You see, don't joke with prayers. No. Let me tell you what prayer can do. Because of our, because of our yeah. time, yes. you, you, you understand? Let me quickly tell you what... Uh, prayer can okay, do. Okay, I've seen the time. Well, let me tell you the, what prayer can do. All right? Now, there was a man called Jabez. Nothing worked for him. Yeah. Almost maybe close, close to uh, maybe four or five decades of his life. He was just a man that was useless to himself and to his community. Yeah. Then, you understand? I think he was the base of all his brethren. Because yeah. for God to have said, he became more honorable than yeah. his brethren, then... He was yeah. probably the least among them. Yeah. Nothing happened to him. Everything, everywhere he went, everywhere he appeared, he caused sorrow, sorrow. because his <laughs> name was sorrow. Yeah. You understand? So let me read First Chronicles Chron four, chapter four, verse nine. nine. nine to First Chronicles uh, four nine to ten. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren, and his mother called him, called his name Jabez, Jabez. saying, "Because I bear him with sorrow." And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless yes. me indeed, and enlarge my coast, and that thy hand might be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that yeah. which he requested. Now, and God granted Teddy. him that which he requested. Let me tell you one thing. You can say, oh, yeah, because Jabez was Hebrew. Now, <laughs> let me tell you, in Which? Romans chapter 10, verse 10. 12, the Bible says God is rich. Unto all. There is no Greek, there is mm. no Jew with any God anymore. In Christ now, no Jew, no Greek, yeah. no Jamaica, no Nigerian. All God is requiring from you is your faith. Man. Faith is a spiritual uh, uh, Yes. Legal tender. Ten. Your stand. When you tender your faith, you, you take your delivery. You tender your faith. It has nothing to do with your color. It has nothing to do with yeah. your race. It has nothing to do with your gender. It has nothing to do with your age. It has nothing to do with your educational background. It has everything to do with how much you trust, you know, how kind and how merciful God is. Just time. It's how much you trust on God, the mercy of God, yeah. the grac uh, uh, graciousness of God toward you. Jabez prayed. The Lord broke the backbone of sorrow in his life. Yeah. God destroyed and dismantled the, your stand, the backbone of sorrow. I want it. it was, God did not just free him no. listen, from sorrow. God raised him up above those who once uh, mocked him. Yeah. God raised him up above those who once despised him. Yeah. God raised him up above those who closed their doors. Yeah. Your stand, those who closed their doors against him. Those who said, you know, your stand, who cut class against him. God closed the door. Yeah. Oh, you know, raised him up. 
to the extent that they were now the ones seeking Jabez's favor. Yeah. Your stamp, please, can you be of help to us? Yeah. Are you there and people are despising you? Are you there and people have maybe think it's all over with you? Let me tell you, with a man of prayer, it's not over. Yeah. Now, uh, barrenness. Hannah, Hannah. Was, Hannah was barren. Yeah. I'm talking about what the force of prayer can do. Yeah. You understand? The, the other wife, and, uh, you understand? Her competitor called Penina, you understand? Mocked her, did everything, scorned her, despised her, but she kept her cool. Yeah. You understand? When people mock you, you don't, you don't waste your time fighting them because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against defeated principalities, against defeated powers, powers. defeated Feated. spiritual wickedness, and you understand? Heavenly places, you understand? Don't bother wasting your time on those who are mocking yeah. you. Face the God who will make you. Man. Forget your makers. Listen Mocking. to this. Listen to this uh, uh, phrase. Yeah. Forget your mockers. Face your maker. Man. You don't get that. Forget your mockers, mockers and face your maker. Makers. By the time Look. your maker finishes with you, your mockers will go into hiding. Yeah. With the first of prayer, call God. And let me tell you for those who who they specialize in mocking people. Do you know mm. what those guys, the people you are talking, mocking, do you know what they tell God in their secret? Yeah. Do you have a clue of what they tell God in yeah. their secret? I hope you will not put your face in shame by God. time God appears to them. Yeah. Just time, please, no, they don't mock anyone. If you mm. can't help anyone, don't mock them either. Now I want us to quickly open the phone lines. I just want to take one or two uh, phones. Would you be brief? Just call. And if there's anything under this, uh, uh, you know, under unction, unction of the Holy Spirit, Spirit Holy Spirit, you understand? Uh, then we can we, 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 we can agree together. We just speak and heaven will answer. What prayer can do? Prayer yeah. can deliver you from untimely death. Yeah. Now there was um, a, a time uh, they called uh, 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 King Nebuchadnezzar uh, captured uh, the three or four Hebrew children, yeah. you understand, that nature, that so Meshach and Abednego, them. because they could not interpret, tell him the dream, they, and then interpret. interpret the dream, you understand, and Daniel said, give us time, time. that us pray, yeah. with prayer, they knew the answer of the king, and they were delivered from on time, yeah. Yeah. you understand, prayer, with the force of prayer, whatever has died in your life, can resurrect, Man. because why, Jesus, Calabarantes, Kuvarahash, you know, there was a friend of Jesus, Called Lazarus, Lazarus, who died. Yeah. And Jesus went to the grave. Listen, after four days, everybody said, forget it, you are late. With prayer, you are never late. Yeah. With the force of prayer, you are never late. Yeah. With the force of prayer, you are never late. Because prayer brings the possibility power of God yeah. to the same. Because you can't just say with God, all things are possible and not provoke that possibility. Well, Amen. Italy. You have to provoke that possibility. You have to provoke that possibility through prayer. Don't just say with God all things are possible. Hello, provoke, good afternoon. Hello, Pastor. Pastor. Yeah, good afternoon. Hello, good, good afternoon, Pastor. Good afternoon, Pastor. God bless you. Yes, Pastor. Yes. Uh, I just wanted to pray for me because I need documents. I want God to give me documents. I like that. Amen. What's your name, please? My name is Mike. Okay. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The wisdom Amen. The, yes. to go about Amen. it. The favor to Amen. make it manifest. Receive now in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Receive Amen. now. Receive Amen. now. Amen. Receive now. Amen. Receive now. Amen. Receive now. Amen. Receive now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You receive yes. because the Bible says Everyone that asks it, receive, receive it. Amen. Because you have asked, Amen. it is yours Amen. now in Amen. the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless Amen. you. Congratulations Amen. in advance. Amen. Congratulations Amen. in advance in Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations, Amen. my brother. Please Amen. believe the prayer. We have Amen. uncountable Amen. testimonies in the area of uh, yes, yes, God bless other, you. There are other Amen. people. Let me tell you, uh, they, 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 they shared a testimony we taught yesterday that was, was <laughs> mind, mind, <laughs> mind, mind boggling testimony. Yeah. You know, they invited me to come and preach in the church. Yeah. And uh, after preaching, you understand, I told people, I said, congratulate one another. Just congratulate one another. Hello, Hello good, good afternoon. afternoon. Great time today. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, God bless you. 
Uh, I want to speak to the man of God, please. Oh, quickly, quickly, you can speak. It's on. We've lost the call. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, so I just said, congratulate one another. They just congratulate one another. And when they ask you, tell them you will soon know. No, there is. They will soon know. I don't know why you should congratulate. And, and somebody came to uh, our office yesterday to share a testimony. Yeah. He said, man of God. Okay, I'll tell man of God, you get what happened? Good afternoon, great time today. Good afternoon. Hello? Hello, good afternoon. God bless you. Uh, I want you to pray for me. My son in Africa, he said, he's going to be serious in intensive care. Okay, what is, what is wrong with him? What is wrong with him? Hello? Kimo? Oh, yes, yeah. what? what is wrong Kimo. with him? So many ways, so many places they are taking him. Okay. Now they took him to India. Very serious there now. India, eh? But the past, past three days he's in coma. No, 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 no. What is his name, please? You don't don't tell me the son name. Just his name. Just his name. We are on air. Don't tell me his son name. Just what is his name? If his name is David, just say David. Or what's his name? His name is Sas. Sas. Charles, Charles, oh, Charles, Charles, Charles. Okay. Charles. Thank you. Okay. Let me just pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody died, and after four days, you raised him. Yes, Lord. He Charles have not died. Yes. So I don't think it should, it should be difficult yes, for you. Yes, Lord. I don't think it should be difficult. Mm -hmm. Because if after four days, you raised so somebody who is still breathing, should it be difficult? Yes. Because you are the same God Man. yesterday. Man. And you are the same God today. Man. And you are the same God forever. Man. When you want to help a person, you connect. Yes. I pray today for Man. Charles. Wherever yes. you are, yes. I command you, come out of Man. your coma. Come out of Man. your coma. Come out Man. in the name of Man. Jesus. Man. Come out. Amen. You will not die. Amen. I close the door Amen. of death Amen. against you. Amen. Death, I rebuke Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I command yes. you have no right to Amen. take it in the powerful name of Amen. Jesus. I deploy Amen. angels to go. Amen. Oh God of heaven and the yes. earth, you know the chance in question. Yes. There are many chances yes. in India yes. right yes. now, but the one. Yes, Lord. Now this request has been yes, made upon. Lord. I demand now Amen. that angels be sent Amen. to go and bring him out Amen. of that woman right now to Amen. the glory, praise, majesty, and Amen. honor of the name of our God. Amen. In the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Father, thank you, thank you for what you are doing already. Yes, I take authority Amen. over every hindrance spirit. Amen. I bind you and Amen. I remove you and I cast you and I Amen. command. Get out of the way. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. There shall be testimony. Amen. And Jesus shall be glorified. Amen. 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 Hello, good afternoon. Grace time today. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, Pastor. Yeah, God bless um, you. My, uh, my name is Patrick. All right. Um, I'm calling for Pastor to pray for my in indefinite. Okay. Uh, oh. He's in the court uh, presently, so I'm praying for God's favor that whenever the case, whenever the judge had the case, it should it should be in my favor. All right, you know what? Raise your right hand up. Amen. Raise your. What did you call your name again? Patrick. Patrick. Say it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say it in repeat, the. Repeat after. Just receive that one. In the name of Jesus. Patrick. Amen. Say, repeat after him. Repeat after Just him. Just repeat. In the him. name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive the mercy of God. I receive the mercy of God. Over this case. Over this case. Because of God's mercy. Because of God's mercy. I shall not be put to shame. 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 I release the mercy of God. I release the mercy of God. Go into battle on my behalf. Go into that on my behalf. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I have victory. I have victory. Over this case. Over this case. Now. Now. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name.
In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You know what Amen. you help me do, uh, Brother Patrick? Plug into the power. Amen. Don't come out Amen. of this power. Plug into the power. Amen. How do you plug Amen. into the power? Keep thanking God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Keep thanking God before the case. And please, 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 I use God to beg you. I want you to call to share your testimony. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, uh, get that number, and you know, and uh, you know, this must be audacious. But what I'm saying mm -hmm. now must be audacious. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> audacious Amen. in the sense that uh, you know, it's like somebody is. Oh, why are you so sure that I'll get it? Just mm -hmm. that is my face speaking. Yeah. Get the number on the screen, and uh, just send a text, even yeah. if you are not that. Oh, they are finally the praise report. The yeah, testimony. Just, just get that number now. You stand and, and just keep the number and tell God that I'm going to send my testimony to this number. That is your yeah. faith speaking. Congratulations yeah. in advance. Congrats. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Pastor. Thank God, you. Bless you. God bless you too. Amen. 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 Quickly, maybe we can still. Yes. Back. Yes. Now, uh, if you are still there, maybe you, you can, we can still take one more call in the next. Yeah, we can still take one more call. Grace time today. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. God bless you. God bless you, Father. Yeah, God, quickly. God bless you. Yeah, Father. what do you want God to do quickly? I just want the Lord to, um, hello? The Lord to do what? To break off all the inappropriate relationships in my life. Okay. You know what I will just pray? I will just yeah. pray that God will give you inner strength to detach. Amen. God will give you the courage to detach yeah. because God is not going to come down and pull mm. that man or pull that woman out of your life. You understand? Yeah. But God will give you the inner Amen. strength to do yeah. the right thing. You will just, you know, maybe you are afraid before to walk out. Maybe you are just emotionally attached. God will just yeah. give you that depth of spiritual depth of spiritual injection. Amen. That with this connection, yeah. you will not just have any feeling for that relationship, and it is not going to be born out of hatred or whatever. You will not no. hate the person, but it will be over. Father, in the Man. name of Jesus, yes. I pray for Man. your daughter. Man. I command by the authority of Man. God, receive inner strength Man. to Man. walk out of every Man. inappropriate yes. relationship. No. In the name of Jesus, Man. the Bible says, "Those who go." Where the wife shall be wise, yes. the companion of fools shall be destroyed. destroyed. Today I pull you Amen. out. Amen. I pull you out. Amen. Come out Amen. of the companion of fools. Amen. And, Lord, and enter into the companion of the, of the wise. Amen. So that your life can be built Amen. up. So that the glory of yes. God can Amen. show forth in your yes, life. Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Shall be well with you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. The Bible, Bible says good. Uh, evil company corrupt good, good man. Yes. So come out of every evil right. company, receive that grace. Man. Thank you for watching Grace Yes. Christ. God bless Man. you. God Man. keep you. Bye bye till we come your way again. Bye. Yes. Bye. Yeah. bye. The discovery of your purpose and destiny unleashes energy, enthusiasm, and motivation. The Reality of Grace Ministries International, London, the home of a people with a great future. People established in the liberty wherewith Christ has set them free. People who have discovered and are running with their God-given purpose for living. The power of God becomes available only when you are in His presence. Please join Pastor Olewole Adekunle on Grace Time today and move your life to the next level. Try to